So this is exciting. It's a, a new award for this year, uh, the Judges Award for Innovation and Resilience and Fun Over 50. Well, you took it out this year. How did, how did it feel? Um, it was incredible, to be honest, because we've gone through such a, as everybody else has, a huge ride. Um, I think our demographic being the over 50s, but the average age is 65 to 75. So vulnerable to the virus, um, want to travel, but also we, we're domestic operators, so we travel across borders. So when COVID hit on March 17, when the lockdowns happened, we had 1,923 guests affected right into 2021 with forward bookings. So the staff had to work, with, you know, seven days a week, literally, to process cancellations and rebook and get flight credits and try and process refunds or credits with the guests, but most guests held credits. So that's, I think that recovery and resilience is with the fact that the trust that they had in the company was going forward with future bookings. You had to innovate. You had to be resilient. Very much so. <laughs> we did actually, because we actually had um, tours that were fully booked crossing borders and we were waiting and lots of our operators gave us 14 days to give us the final numbers. and. When we just couldn't cross those borders, we actually had a, uh, um, a campaign called Travel with People You Know, going to villages and people that had been in a bubble and wanted to travel and would not normally travel with their neighbour, wanted to go with their neighbours because they knew who they were travelling with. And it was like a cab rank. They were in the background waiting for those tours to be cancelled. And we go, right, you can go. And we had lots of forward bookings on those group campaigns. You're clearly very experienced in this area and you, you've done extremely well. What would you say to other people who are, have, you know, have done it tough and may be feeling the heat a little bit? What advice would you give to them? I think the most important part is to stick with your brand values. Um, we still went, we had like lots of people couldn't travel with us coming from interstate and we would normally travel with 20 people with a, you know, a full crew. We travelled with full crew with eight people and we still limped through the regions giving support to our suppliers but we didn't lose our brand values, we didn't skimp on our professionalism and we, we had money and we invested and we had good sustainability within our business and that's the main thing is sustainability, sustainability, uh, innovation, those things are so important going forward. You must be very proud tonight. We are. Thank you. Thank Congrats. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah.